Hello everyone and welcome back to my page messages from Venus. This is a client reading. This is an all around the board reading. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying the short but lovely monthlies. Um, we'll, we will be back um, next month showing you guys some good stuff. I'm going to arrange things, etc. Please make sure to check out my 25% off. Favorite my shop to get 10% when I don't have a sale. And I'm not going to have a sale um, until um, next year because... Yeah, but I'll, I'll announce it. I just don't want to take too much time off the, off of the client's um, reading. So I, I thank you very, very much for choosing me to read for you. Um, I know that your heart is full right now. That I don't know how it's going to feel or how how good or balanced or, or bad you're going to feel once you watch this video or when you're watching this video. But I just want to take you... I mean, I just... Well, I would do. I want to take you to a place where you're healing because I know exactly how breakups feel. I I've I can totally relate to um, the most of my client readings. So I just want to let you know that you're not alone, and that breakups are very difficult. But it's the way that you deal with them. It's the way that you handle them. It's the way that you cry out for assistance. It's the way that you. Um, put yourself back into the picture and put yourself first, that actually counts when experience a breakup, whether you get back with that person or not. So let's get to the reading. I'm going to shuffle the cards first and then I am going to um, I give you the reading. So let's get started. And again, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. shuffle all the cards and then I'll give you the reading. <laughs> Actually, that's not your card. Sometimes I look at the card and I'm like, ah, that's not the energy. Unless it wants to come out again. Still the same colors though. Okay, so I'm going to leave love for last only because I would like for you to focus on all the other aspects of your life first, even though I know you want to know about love. So no, I'm not doing it on purpose, but hear me out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pull um, one affirmation for the end of the reading. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jeez. Like all the cards came out. Oh, 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 oh. And no, it wasn't because I was shuffling crazy. I feel like that just meant you wanting to throw in the towel type of a feeling because I wasn't shuffling crazy. That's crazy. I hope you guys, I hope it got recorded. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, and then I'll leave this for, for later. Okay, so where you are right now, we have the moon and we have the satyr. Rever rev reverly and indulgence. So we are taking a lot of, well, I'm going to include myself in this, but we are taking in a lot of um, information. And a lot of things are going to be hidden for a little bit. And you want to know what's hidden. You want to be um, around everything that is hidden because you want what's hidden to come out and talk to you. You want what's the information that is hidden to smack you in the face. Because um, I feel like you feel like that's the only way that you will either get disconnected or walk away or feel like... Um, that's like the only solution um, to my feelings and all across the board in your life. Uh, I need to know the truth right now, right now. Well, my dear, the truth isn't always for you to know exactly when you want the, the truth to be revealed to you. Um, that's one. And two, I feel like the candle that you were lighting... Um, you feel like, oh, it's kind of like a whisper. You're whispering to this person so that this person can come out and play with you, which is perfect, which is fine. However, I do feel like for like two seconds, you should allow the unknown to stay unknown. Otherwise, it will shock you to your core and it'll make you broken. And then you'll be in a predicament where you will be broken more than the other person. I mean, trust and believe me, you, I am also broken. I am also a broken person. That's why I tell my clients all the time I can relate. Um, that's why, number one, I can give you these readings um, without prejudice because I know that not everybody is going to make the same decisions as me. Um, I know that, you know, it feels horrible to not know information about you and your life and your partner and someone that you want to be with when that person takes up so much space in your life. Now, I feel like, again, allow the person to tell his, his truth in his own time. Again, don't push him to do you know, to just tell you everything because the truth is going to shock you to your core. And I think it's going to shock you to, to your core because it's going to be like music to your ears and it's going to be something that you did not expect. You didn't, you didn't really expect what's about to come out of his mouth. Um, and let's go to the portion of your purpose. And your purpose is the Ten of Wands. It's a beautiful card here. And then we have the Griffin. Honor and good luck. Okay, so your purpose is to find the balanced energies or to find the positive energies um, within all of your experiences, carrying them, carry them forward and be an example. Um, I feel like the reason why you became a mom, it's not just a regular reason as to like, oh, I became a mom because um, I'm, I'm a woman and so this is like the what my responsibilities are or because I just was in a relationship or because we just planned this out. No, the purpose of your kids being in your life is because unlike a lot of moms, you're supposed to be giving them a, an example and that's why it's very careful for you to like leave the unknown where it's supposed to be so that you can then give an example to your children. For the most part, most moms are supposed to be giving positive examples, balanced examples, etc. But I feel like you deep down inside are afraid that your kids are going to turn around one day and, and are going to tell you, you know what, mom, you did this and this and this and that wasn't a good example. But it's going to turn out in the completely opposite way and it's not just for your children but also for the le legacy that you live on this leave on this planet it's also for other people's children like your friends family members etc you are an example to um to just live by okay so whatever your hurts are whatever your pains are don't um see them as oh my god i just this is so messed up this is so above and beyond messed up like i shouldn't have done that now what are people going to think about me no take that Throw it in your back and know that that's exactly where you're supposed to be. I also feel like you're supposed to be the person whom takes on a lot of the responsibilities, whether you want to, to, to have that title or not, okay? Then um, for your health, you have the three of discs and the dagger, conflict, and it says the dagger, conflict, and danger lie in wait. Now, 
Um, I, <clears throat> I'm not a doctor. <clears throat> However, I do feel like you have to be careful with like sleeping around and not giving yourself time because you might end up with in a situation or with somebody that possibly has like a transmitted disease or has some sort of like negative energy that gets transmuted to you and let's say even though it's it's not something that you can see in the spiritual world it will harm you and it will harm your base chakra that's one two i feel like one of your children is about to get really sick and like the common flu the common cold like head pain headaches etc so watch out for that but it's mostly um, headaches and then you'll probably get sick because that's usually what happens that if you're around somebody for more than 24 hours um, and they're sick you're usually the person to get sick as well um, so take take that into into mind um, that when you are with somebody else um, whether it's with this person or the next make sure that you are cleansing yourself and make sure that you are protecting yourself okay so unless you have a an actual title then uh, try not to have unprotected sex. Then we have the finances, which is the Knight of Swords, and we have the Moon. Two Moon cards. You will be guided through the darkness, okay? So look, um, I feel like you have, like everyone else and most people in America, you have a lot of bills and a lot of responsibilities to, um, that, that, need to be, that need attention, that need to be taken care of. Now, because you are you know technically single and you feel like you know what i'm doing this by myself know that it's difficult but it's it you'll get through it like you've been getting through it for so long okay that's one two any big medical bills any attention that has to do with health or insurance take care of that because it's about to come out something like that is about to come out um to play with you to annoy you so anything with medical bills um insurance make sure that you keep that up to date make sure that everyone in your household um is covered because i feel like whatever is coming through um with sickness or anything like that or or anything that needs attention when it comes to either a mental breakdown a psychologist maybe um a shrink as well for yourself um you can uh um, have the resources to be able to take care of that but as far as finances is concerned i do see that everything will work out okay the bills will get paid just organize yourself accordingly and do not be afraid to ask for assistance from family members do not be afraid to ask for assistance from family members and friends even though i, I know it's easier said than done because we all know that um family members can sometimes be the first ones to talk nonsense about us now we're gonna move on to love and so we have the two of disc and we have the raven darkness looms on the horizon look i feel like with this um situation that you have i feel like he's going to tell you sometime between now and the end of the year that yes he wants to work things out he wants to balance things out but he would prefer to stay in the situation that he is now with you meaning he comes around he sees you he um you go out on frequent dates here and there and that's about as far as it goes I don't think that he's going to tell you, oh, let's, you know, meet um, each other's family members and or anything like that within the next couple of months. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be um, a jigsaw. It's going to be like a sw uh, swinging every day. And that's going to bring darkness to your horizon because that's not something that you want to hear. And again, my dear, this the ball is in your court. Do you want to be in a predicament? Do you want to be in a situation or in a relationship where it's always like that? Whether you're that you're always in the darkness, whether one day he's happy and the other day he's sad, and so you're always in an emotional roller coaster. That is the big question. Is that something that you want to do for the rest of your life? Or do you want to give somebody else a chance that isn't going to expose you to these crazy entities? Um, because he will probably be the better choice for you. Meaning not the person that you're with now, but someone else. Now, this is the card that came out. And this is talking about the base chakra, sacral chakra type of an energy. I'm going to turn this card around and it's going to give you uh, an impacting word that a lot of people like to take in their pockets and feel like they can take all the garbage in the world because of this word. 
word but that's not the case you too can walk away regardless of whether this person is your soulmate or not so okay this is the word soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically now you see the difference between the word soulmate and then the actual message that it has so you do have a soulmate i just don't think it's this person i feel like this is an experience i feel like this is a um stepping stone i feel like this person does love you very much they do care about you but they cannot move forward because they are so broken like we're all broken but he's be of and a bomb broken where he's not planning to do anything about it and that's the difference between you and this person you two might be broken but you're planning to do something about it now I feel like you should give yourself a chance to allow space for your real soulmate to come in and show you a good time, whether you argue the next day, etc., whether you have arguments, decisions, situations, just give that person a chance. Give somebody else a chance to show you what a real soulmate is and to show you what a real balance is, okay? It's going to hurt for 2.5 seconds because I know um, from our messages that this is not what you probably want to hear. Um, however, it's better that you kind of like see things for what exactly for what they are and not expect for the cards to tell you otherwise. Um, cause I, I do feel like that's something that you're, you're like waiting on like, Oh, I just want them to tell me otherwise. And the, the cards are going to tell you exactly what it is at the moment, um, of purchase. So this is the overall card water emotions are there peak or at their peak. Is that what is it? No, emotions are at their peak. Yes. Okay, so this is the overall message for you. So your emotions are basically everywhere. Your emotions are there for everyone to see. Allow it for everyone to see your truth, number one. Allow for everyone to see that things either work out or don't work out. Allow people to see what you're doing in this relationship or situationship and once you move on if you do decide to move on because then that will be your testimony for your children because i'm so sorry but i feel like one of your children is going to go through the exact same life it's like you recreated yourself within this little individual and human being not just physically not just in the dna but the frequency of that person's love life is something you kind of transferred over to that child um and they also decided to take that on so allow them to see that so that that they know that they're able to go through it once it's their turn to go through it okay um i know that's difficult i'm not a mom i know that's difficult to hear however allow the world to see your pain it's okay to allow people to see your pain um mope around for as long as you want to it is your emotions respect them so i hope that you enjoyed this reading happy birthday to you and um i will speak to you about this um via your dm so Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Everyone else, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.